The year 2015 offers us such a big opportunity to return to the soil. And I'm so glad the European Greens are responding to the Year of Soil by organizing a big conference, which is also a lead up to COP21 on climate change. So 2015 is the year we can remember that we are the soil. Humans are made from humus. Adam is derived from Adamus, the Hebrew word for soil. We are nothing without living soil. And today we are witnessing that as waves of refugees are created from lands which were desertified, devastated through exploiting of the soil. Across the world, across Europe, soils are dying. Both because they've been neglected, they're being encroached, they're being cementified, and industrial agriculture is killing the life of the soil, while it's emitting 40% of the greenhouse gas emissions, the nitrogen oxides from chemical fertilizers, the carbon dioxide, and the methane from factory farms and food waste. We can get rid of all of these emissions by doing ecological agriculture, returning organic matter to the soil, producing healthier food, producing more livelihoods, protecting our small farmers, protecting biodiversity. We have everything to gain by turning to the soil away from fossil fuels that should have stayed underground. The soil needs more living carbon. The dead carbon should never have been the basis of our civilizations. It's a 250-year-old era that should be put aside. It has given rise to a fossilized mind, a fossilized mind that thinks of nature as dead, of human beings as disposable, of societies as disposable too. The refugee crisis is rooted in that idea of disposability as entire cultures are bombed out of existence. If we make peace with the soil, we make peace between people. We solve the food insecurity problem. We solve the unemployment problem. We, of course, solve the climate problem. And we don't just solve the problem by reducing emissions, which is the heart of all discussions. In the soil is a way of pulling out the stocks of the buildup of excess carbon dioxide in the soil. We take it out of the air where too much carbon dioxide doesn't belong, put carbon into the soil through the amazing magic of the photosynthesis of our green living plants. And through this, turn from the extractive logic of destruction to the cycle of return, to gratitude, to the earth, to our past, to our ancestors, and to the future, to whom we owe a living soil. Let's not miss this challenge. Together, we can change the paradigm. We can change the practice, and we can begin with our everyday eating of food in a conscious way.